Hello everyone and welcome once again to Men of the Infinite. This is going to be a uh, far less formal and rather more personal presentation. Um, I simply want to address fairly briefly a question that was put to me quite recently. That question of course being the title of this particular video, Am I a Buddhist? And whilst the short answer to that question is no I'm not, the truth is sufficiently complicated such that I thought a more fulsome answer might uh, make for a passingly interesting presentation, even if one that will likely tick off a lot of Buddhists. I guess the reason that the question was put to me is that some of my presentations seem to echo certain Eastern modes of thought and use certain Buddhistic terms. And it's true, they do. Whilst I do not and would not identify as a Buddhist, for reasons I'll get to shortly, my videos do echo the core teachings of the Buddha. They do so because those core teachings are valid. But then my videos also echo the core principles of philosophical Taoism as well. And for the same reason, those core principles are valid. The reasons that I don't identify as a Buddhist and am not technically a Buddhist are essentially twofold. The first is that I would never want to identify with the overly complex religious mishmash that is modern Buddhism. The religious face that Buddhism presents to the world is not something I could ever advocate or approve of. Not that my approval means anything other than to me, of course. Buddhism is not a religion. Yet, Buddhism, as it expresses itself in the world, most assuredly is. The one form of Buddhism that somewhat escapes this critique is Zen. But even there I'd be uncomfortable aligning myself with modern Zen though I'd certainly suggest that any investigation of Buddhist method ought to begin with that tradition, because I regard it as the best of them, and I certainly got a great deal out of it. In my opinion, Buddhism generally is simply too replete with superstition, religious group behaviour and ritual, and farcically complex scholasticism to be taken seriously. And this goes for religious Taoism as well. Whilst I'd be the first to advocate inquiry into the ideas of philosophical Taoism, I wouldn't touch religious Taoism with a 40-foot pole, and neither should you if you value your sanity. But one has to be careful not to judge these philosophical systems by the religious traditions they spawn. As I explained in my video regarding the differences between the religious and spiritual impulses, it's a sad fact of human nature that the religious impulse tends to usurp and win out over the spiritual. Nevertheless, we shouldn't throw the proverbial baby out with the proverbial bathwater. The central teachings and method laid out by the Buddha are all but flawless. I would unhesitatingly encourage research into them by any person with a strong sense of individuality. But I would also warn that where one sees complex scholasticism in any spiritual or philosophical system, that one avoids it like the plague. The tangled web that religious, spiritual or philosophical scholars weave is something one might avoid like a perceptive fly avoids a spider's trap, however prettily it may seem to glisten in the morning sun. The second reason I don't and would not identify as a Buddhist is best explained by the question, was the Buddha, let's say at the time of his death, a Buddhist? The answer to that question is no, he was not. Buddhism, in its purest sense, that is, the sense that the Buddha intended, is not a religion. It is not a set of beliefs or dogmas. It's a system or method of thought designed to achieve a given purpose, namely liberation from ignorance and suffering. This used to be called enlightenment, but it seems all too few Buddhists want to use that term anymore. Now, the Buddha, having attained this goal, obviously had no further use for this method and was therefore no longer a Buddhist. A Buddhist is one who employs the Buddhist system or method. Having done that, one is no longer a Buddhist. You don't continue with tools after having used them for their intended purpose. If you come across a river that you have to cross and there's a canoe available and you use that canoe to, to cross over, unless you know that there are yet more rivers to cross, you don't pick up the canoe and continue to carry it. You leave it there for others to use. In the case of the method of Buddhism, you might retain the method so as to relate it to others, if you so choose, but you no longer need it for personal reasons. You are no longer a Buddhist as such. 
any more than a child remains a child after using the teachings of his parents to mature into adulthood. So, for anyone wondering whether I am, in fact, a closet Buddhist, hopefully that question is now answered. Okay, well, thanks for listening. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, um, please do so. As for this month only, doing so will earn you 75 enlightenment points and 8 months of red-hot karma. If you don't subscribe, you'll have to spin a prayer wheel 26 times to make up for the bad karma you created by not doing so. Your future is in your hands. Bye for now.